Hey there everybody, welcome back to... Okay, I can't get up there. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Donkey Kong 64. In this episode, we are going to go back to some of the familiar parts of the level where we went in the first time we went here. Um, as you guys remember, the first time we came here, we... Oh, I probably got to knock that down as chunky. The... The first time we came here as Donkey Kong, there was a switch at the very end of this uh, watery tunnel that we couldn't get to. Because we were like, oh, well, I guess the can't switch thing. But now that we have long range shooting ability, now we can easily do it. So, I'm just going to quickly swim along there using my super fast monkey swimming ability. There we go. And. Looking up there, we have this thing spawning again. And above there, there's a golden banana, implying that hitting the switch will get us the golden banana. So, now that we can snipe, let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Whoops, I guess I gotta hit it right there. There we go. Oh, and of course that raises the water level. I didn't expect it to raise the water level, but whatever. Oh, now we gotta hit another one. There we go. And that raises it even more. Of course, we gotta hit another one. Bonk. Almost there. Oh, we are there. There we go. Brilliant. Now that we've gotten that, I guess we just have to swim down to the exit. And there isn't anything else we can get in here. No, there was a banana fairy, but I already got it. That's right. I'm smart. I remember things. And then let's just leave through this hole, which will lead us out to the grate. Okay. The what was that? No, I thought I heard something weird coming from my game. But nope, it was just me being hearing things ish. Okay, next thing we gotta do, go back to the warp barrel. And remember, there was that one thing we couldn't do as Diddy Kong outside the number one warp. Because we needed a stupid long range move, yay! But now we have it, so we can do it. So let's go in here. And right, it was in the dungeon, I remember. Which was somewhere along here. Oh right, it was right here. There we go. Uh no, that was Donkey Kong. I don't think this way was Diddy. Yep, this way was the Diddy one. Clunk. There we go. Okay, so if we step on the stone, that thing just turns around and I can't get to it. But... If we have long range shooting... That hardly matters. Hmm. 
What did hitting that switch even do? You know, I'm not even sure. I gotta stop wasting my musical instrument things on these guys, but... I just can't help but think he's such a dick. Start hitting it again. Hmm. I don't think it did much. Because... Otherwise, I imagine I would be able to make it across. They give me like a barrel or something? Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Well, that was a waste of instrument. Hawa. Flash it against the walls. No, nothing. But now I can't use that. Can I climb this chain? Oh shit, I can climb the chain. Oh shit! I didn't see that before. There we go. Perfect. So I guess that made the chain appear. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we, we got it. We did it. I thought you could probably stand on there and get swung around to the other side and there would be a secret there too, but I guess it wasn't it. Okay, so I'm going to meet you guys right at the very top of this castle. You saw me get to the top before, and it's only the number 5 warp, so I'll meet you guys there. Alright, here we be at the very top of the castle. And holy lag on my N64. This level is very, very laggy. Anyway, we're gonna go up here and finish the job that we started before. And that was going into this tower. We went in here before, found out we couldn't do anything, and well, that was that. But now, we can zoom in with our awesome skills. There's one, there's two, and the last one we need to be over here to get, because it's way up top, whoops, I'm not far enough back. Yeah, it was probably a miss. There's three, and now we have... Great. Oh, there we go. I see what we have to do now. Of course, we have a banana barrel. The. Oh, whoops. I'm not floating. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. 
or maybe I was. Beaver bother, okay, here we have our next herd the beavers into the pit, press A to jump and be scared. Okay, so let's just do this the same way we did it last time. Whoops. Beavers caught. There we go, let's just run around. Run around the pit. Gathering beavers. Gather, gather, gather. Running around, scaring them. Come on, get in there. There we go. Come on, get in the pit. Oh my goodness. My tactic is not working. Okay. I'm not mashing the B button hard enough. Okay, come on, get in there. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. I haven't done this in a while. How many worlds has it been since I did this? It's been quite a bit, so... Gotta get back into the practice. I'm sure my strategy will work. Okay, so beaver bother. Okay, let's do this. I don't remember, how many did I have to get before? Come on. Get there in their hole there. Holy fucking shit. These beavers. They almost get in the hole sometimes, and then they just decide no. Get the fuck in the hole. Oh, there we go. Okay. This is gonna be a little bit... I think I'm just gonna do a highlight reel. There's there's no way I'm gonna be able to record this for the next episode. Or before the next episode's up, which is still ten minutes away or so, but... Like, oh my god. Okay. Come on, beaver. Maybe if I press the A and B button at the same time. Holy shit, a jumping crocodile. Let's run away. Oh, there's one in a minute. are being fucking retards. Oh my goodness, I only got two. Oh dear. Okay. This is gonna take some time. Oh, one just ran in just because. Welcome to bonus stage! Welcome to bonus stage. <laughs> I bet you're gonna have all sorts of fun with this one. Either way, this round was a test round. Just to see if mashing the B button did anything, and it seems that it only does it if I press it once every few seconds. This is the beaver science. Chalk one up to beaver science. Welcome to bonus stage. Alright, new beaver science. Rather than trying to get them all kinda at the same time, lure them all to the hole and then try and pick off the ones I can, started going at them one at a time again. Because I found that if you get them to the hole, and instead of trying to scare them in straight on, going like, get into the fucking hole, if you aim at them at a bit of an angle, a 
bit of an angle. Or so you're not, like, pointed at them, but you're pointed near them, but not quite, like, to the side like this or something like that. But go into the hole. It's not consistent, and you have to have them pretty close to the hole for it to work. But, uh, it's a pretty good system. See, that one followed my, that one followed my, uh, my right in. That one I was too straight on, I think. Alright, so I got almost all of them, but I ran out of time, so... Let's keep trying that, and see if I'll eventually get it. Oh, son of a bear! Okay, so, beaver science. Let me explain it to you. Beavers have two levels of being scared. There's, I'm gonna call it beaver level one and beaver level two. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get it on this one because I have the beaver science and a master. I have a bachelor in beaver science, if you will. Beavers have two levels of being scared. There's beaver level one and beaver level two. On beaver level one, they simply run away from you and are a bit afraid. They run away at a very fast pace, so you have to kind of be careful on that. And these beavers just keep tripping over each other, so I'm not going to get it on this one probably. On beaver level two, on beaver level one, the beavers run away in a straight line away from where you scare them, and they are quite afraid. Beaver level two is where they go into a mad dash where they are successful or susceptible to falling down holes, falling, tripping over uh, uh, sidewalk curbs. Um, they might step on a piece of Lego if you are not careful. Beaver level two is where they are very, very open to accidents. You see, so here's how beaver science works. You simply scare a beaver into the hole using your first scare tactic. There we go. Press the B button once, and they run away into that beaver level 1. Then, when they're on their way to the hole, you angle yourself at about, a, about a, a good degree of angle, so that when they enter beaver level 2, they will head away at such an angle that they will fall into the pit. See, this beaver here, I, I could not get him to go into the pit because he's in beaver level 1. There I quickly got a double tap and he went into beaver level 2 at just the right angle. That one was a pretty simple beaver level 2. That one was pretty good too. Um, so yeah, beavers have to be in beaver level 2 in order to enter the hole. Now the hard part about this is if beavers hit the hole and stop, they suddenly exit beaver level 2 and go to a standing motion, which I will call um, null beaver level. There is there is no no level of activity. They have to re-enter beaver level 1. Or base, base level, I guess, would be the best way to, to explain that. So, see, that was a off beaver level 2. Okay, that beaver is at standing level, so I'm not going to get him. i got to get him to wander away from the hole first. Now, the hardest part about this game is that the beavers themselves are able to run into each other. And if a beaver runs into its friend or family member or whatever these beavers may be to each other, they will stop in their tracks and enter null beaver level. Which kind of friggin' sucks for me, because when I'm trying to do this... I can't, like, the beavers first off hit each other, and when they do, I'm, I'm dead. The only way to get them properly into the hole is if the beaver does not hit another beaver. Okay, so let's see if I can get some proper, some proper ones here. Ooh, I got two at once. Holy shit. It's never happened before. Not on this one, anyway. There we go. Oh, that one was too far away. See, it entered beaver level 2 in the direction of the hole, but because... Oops. 
this little hole. It entered beaver level 2 in the direction of the hole, but because it was too far away from the hole, it got to the ridge and stopped. Or it entered beaver level 1, sorry, before it uh, entered the hole, so... Two beavers left. Now I'm just getting sloppy. Oh shit. Oh, there we go! There we go, I did it. There we go. Everything. Oh right, this is what I was doing before. Alright, well now I guess I gotta exit the draft. Oops, and come back up. So there you have it. Beaver Bother. It's a hard mini game. It's very difficult to do. But, simply treat it as a science, and it'll be your friend forever. So that is Beaver Science for you. Hopefully it'll come in handy to all of you. And, uh, yeah, that was this episode of Let's Play Donkey Kong 64. I hope you all have a good rest of your day, whatever you're doing today. See you guys next time.